The question is whether N2O3 is an ionic or covalent compound. This is dinitrogen trioxide. So we have our periodic table here divided into metals, metalloids, and nonmetals. So we'll look up nitrogen, which is right here. That's a nonmetal. And then oxygen right next to it. That's a nonmetal. So when we have nonmetals bonded together, we have a covalent compound, also called a molecular compound. Let's look at the structure of N2O3. This is the Lewis structure. And what we see are these lines here. So this is a single bond. It represents a pair of electrons, two electrons shared between the nitrogen and the oxygen. So they're shared because it's a covalent bond. Covalent bonds share electrons. Again, between the nitrogens here. And then we have two lines. These are double bonds. So two pairs of electrons are shared between the nitrogen and the oxygen here. Do note that we would have resonance with this structure as well. But this is a good Lewis structure for N2O3, and you can see the covalent bonds. This would give you an idea, a little bit of the molecular geometry, the red oxygen, and then the blue is the nitrogen. This is Dr. B answering the question whether N2O3 is ionic or covalent. It's covalent because we have nonmetals bonded together, and therefore they share the electrons in these bonds. Thanks for watching.